exhausted. I had blisters all over my feet. I, you know, was just completely out of my element. And then something kind of clicked, and I remember um, feeling so much stronger. By the time I was done with that that summer, I was I felt so much stronger. The, the life of the core dancer is always learning and. You know, re rehearsing seven hours a day, and then performing usually two or three ballets at night, and then waking up the next morning and doing it again. So it's really just you're dancing all day long in that particular company because the rep is so huge, and you're constantly just having to learn more ballets. Um, as a soloist, it, it's different because then your your parts might be more pressure and they might be harder, but you're not dancing as much. And what do they call it? The soloist slump? I can't remember. But there's a time like right after you're, you're a new soloist and you're taken out of all your core parts, but you don't get any a lot of soloist parts. So then you're just waiting. And then when you finally get on stage, it's a part that freaks you out. And so, <laughs> you know, that's more of a mental game. Um, and then the principle, um, the principle you, you just, it's the, it's the, you know, the, the, you know, always maintaining that level because then you have to carry, you have to be able to carry the role. You have to be able to be excellent every single time. <laughs> There's a piece called Brom Schoenberg, which is also the piece that I retired with, um, dancing with her. Uh, and it's very tempestuous and romantic, um, Brahms music. And, uh, you know, it's one of the most challenging um, partnering roles for the male. And, um, and I was awesome at it. <laughs> <laughs> I would take off sometimes for a pirouette and I'd be shooting off to my side. And I would feel him knocking me back on, you know, as I turned around. And so he was reliable. Um, and it, but So not only did he have the power and the strength um, to be able to he always, there was a, you had a sense of pride. You always said, I could get any ballerina over my head. <laughs> Benjamin was so fantastic and he showed us um, the richness of LA. He showed us that there's a moment in time happening right now. Um, and, you know, not necessarily showed us the beauty of, you know, the different cities, the different neighborhoods. And I had no idea. It's, I mean, I still, even today, I still feel like, especially for people on the East Coast and Yorkers, people do not understand what's happening at all. <laughs> on a particular note, you're going to lift up your wrist and very slowly bring it to your temple as you turn your head to the left. Then the next movement you're going to make is you're going to switch the same hand to your shoulder and look the other way as you switch your head. So, move your arms down to first position. Turn your feet out. 